So, See, there you go. Um, name this part of the nephron, this is the DCT. Notice in the DCT passes up between the afferent, afferent and efferent arterial, and you also notice that we've got the macula densa cells, which look a little bit different than the cells that make up the rest of the part of the DCT. So there's macula densa cells. That triangular shaped group of cells in the middle there, or pyramidal shaped if you want, those are the, are the mesangial cells, okay? And now I have my probe in the Bowman space or Bowman's capsule, whichever, uh, Bowman space, not Bowman's capsule, Bowman space, name the, uh, the fluid in there, is Bowman's fluid, osmolarity is 300 milliosmoles, yeah? And we have now the white cells right there, those are podocytes, notice a little feed on there, okay? Name this part of the nephron, this is the PCT, the fluid in there also is 300 milliosmoles, and you can even see the microvilli there too, okay? So afferent, efferent, arterial, like what I just uh, pointed out, way over here where we got the collecting duct right there, okay? The yellow little ball is the renal corpuscle, and we rec recognize, of course, loop of Henle right there, all right? Uh, no descending or ascending business with that, just Lupa Henley, okay? Name that part of the nephron would be the question. Name these capillaries down there, those are the vasa recta. Name these capillaries around the tubes up there, those would be the peritubular capillaries, okay? All right, and over here on the second kidney here, right, we have, oh, damn. Sorry. Sorry. We my have the, little brother is like blowing up my phone right now. <laughs> we have the cortex right there. They provide us with the renal columns, and then all this is the medulla, and they show us the medullary pyramids, or if you want, the renal pyramids, okay? We've seen the minor calyx, minor calyx. They provide for us the major calyx, which is number 13. It's not been opened, but right now, that is the major calyx there. As you go and see the major calyx is joined together, and it makes the renal pelvis, which is right here where my probe is at, or my pen is, okay? Right there, and then that, of course, is then the the ureter right there. Uh, this is the adrenal gland. You should, you should know that even though it's not part of the kidney per se. Okay. All right. We're left now with the larynx. Larynx model. Hyoid bone right there. And this is the epiglottic cartilage right there. Thyrohyoid membrane is this. Thyroid cartilage. It creates a laryngeal prominence, kind of a, a superior anterior projection right there. And then we have the cricoid cartilage right there on the anterior, but it's also noted in the posterior back there. And then these are the a retinoid cartilages right there, okay? The vocal ligaments, of course, is those structures there, that kind of thickened up area right there, the thickened up portion. Those are the vocal ligaments there. And then we're also uh, seeing the cartilaginous C-shaped rings of the trachea, which is all of that. And then um, on the model of the, of the trachea, it splits into right, left, main bronchi. Flip that over to the posterior, you see the trachealis. That's the only model I have that shows the trachealis on it. Okay, lungs, you want right lung, left lung, okay. Nice right lung, it has superior, middle, and inferior lobe right there. Has our horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure right there, okay. And left lung, we have our superior lobe and we have our inferior lobe. This is the oblique fissure and this is the lingula. It's not a lobe, but this is the part of the left lung known as the lingula, okay, right there. Base and apex certainly are here, but I could not ask them with reasonable success, okay. So, there you go. Okay.